When I saw Whitney Houston singing The Greatest Love of All to Muhammad Ali in this dress, I immediately called my aunt and begged her to make it for my prom. Even though she never saw the performance or the dress, I felt like I described it to her perfectly and I had all faith that she could pull it off and make it look just like Whitney's. I was so excited that I was going to senior prom in a dress just like Whitney Houston's. This is the 22nd episode of my 50 Days Till 50 series where I share stories from my life all leading up to my 50th birthday on July 19th. And on this episode, I'm talking about how I begged my aunt to make my senior prom dress look just like Whitney's. I mean, my aunt had never made anything for me before, but I expected top tier. But let me tell you what I felt that I got. A Gordon Gartrell. That's what I felt that she sent me. That's what I felt that she made me. That's what my teenage self thought of the dress that she sent me that was supposed to look like Whitney's to me. But instead, I felt like it looked like Gordon Gartrell. And anybody who's seen the Cosby show know exactly what I'm talking about in this particular episode. Now, actually looking at the dress right now, you can see that I overreacted. I don't know what I was expecting, but clearly she did a pretty good job. But she didn't know what the dress looked like. She didn't even live in the same state as me. So she had to just go by what I say and then mail it to me and hope it all worked out. But you couldn't tell me that. But your girl was expecting perfection, okay? <laughs> And the only reason I wore it is because she took the time to make it and I wanted to get pictures so as to not to hurt her feelings. But I was not feeling it at all. To the point that I got another dress to wear. Y'all, I had two prom pictures. I took a picture in the other dress and I took a picture in this dress because I was like, you're not gonna Gordon Gartrell me on my senior prom. <laughs> we even went up to the hospital to see my grandma because she had had a stroke. And I wanted her to see me in my dress before I went to prom. But you see, I don't have that pink dress on. I got the black one on. I have no idea why I was tripping so hard. I guess I wanted to look just like Whitney Houston. And for some reason, back then, I just didn't feel that it did. But I'm so happy that I at least took pictures so I can now look back and see, wow, I really was overreacting. But you know what I'm saying? I was a teenager. And I was extra. So I just had to share this story because growth is a beautiful thing, all right? And looking back... And remembering all these stories, especially the ones that are related to Whitney, just crack me up. 